dating app Bumble went public last week, making founder Whitney the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire at age 31. So what's her secret? This is what today's video is all about. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ting Ting. I am a serial entrepreneur. I started my entrepreneurship journey when I was 16. I have founded multiple successful businesses over the years. I believe if I can do it, you can do it too. I started this channel to share my experiences in entrepreneurship and leadership and hope I can help someone like you. Obviously, nobody can become a self-made billionaire by accident. And here are the six reasons that I believe are behind Whitney's success. First, focus on the niche in the crowded market. A crowded market can be a blessing despite of fierce competition because there's already existing proof of concept and proof of demand, which is very important for a startup to be viable. A lot of first-time entrepreneurs are very obsessed about having an original idea. The problem with an original idea is, if your idea has never ever been done before, it can either mean two things. First, you are the smartest person in the world. Second, your idea has been tried and done before but failed. You can weigh yourself on which is more likely. That's why you should rather focus on carving out a niche out of a crowded, proven market. This is what exactly Whitney has done. She focused on women making the first move market. Two, don't give up despite what others would say. I can imagine at the early stage of Bumble, there must be a lot of voices around Whitney saying things like, another dating app? Are you sure? Why don't you work on something else? Or, woman making the first move? Well, that's quite a niche, like really niche. <laughs> when I first quit my job and started my business, I also have a lot of people telling me all sorts of things, suggesting that I will fail. I slowly realized that the were well, not really me or they, or they are trying to harm me in any way. I think they just try to project their own fear and reality onto me. And it is my responsibility to not make that my reality. So I just thank their concern, smile and carry on. Three, Whitney really knows her business. In my earlier video on how to choose a good business idea, one of the checklist question is, are you the best person in the world to launch this business? Do you know this business, this market, the clients that well? And Whitney is the classic example. She is the marketing brain behind Tinder's success. Although known as a tech company, Everyone has a bit of a tech background will know that dating application is not rocket science. It's not extremely difficult to build or design. So marketing is really everything that made Tinder successful. That's why there's actually no surprise Bumble became successful. From micro-influencer marketing strategies to organic social campaigns pushed by their student ambassadors, to thousands of oversized pastel balloons covering Bumble's new headquarters in Austin, which attracted many pedestrians taking selfies and a heavy media coverage, Whitney really knows how to make everything a marketing opportunity. Four, having the right co-founding partner. When Andre Andreev, founder of Badu, knocked on Whitney's door for a partnership opportunity, even before she settled on the idea to start Bumble. She said yes. And it's no doubt this partnership is crucial for Bumble's fast takeoff 
and success. In fact, Andre has brought in infrastructure, capital, resources, years of experiences in this industry, which is a perfect match to Whitney's marketing talent. And a good co-founding partner is going to make or break your startup business. In fact, I have another video on this. Please do check it out. Five, openness and empathy. Do you know the company motto of Bumble is be kind or leave? Be kind appears on almost every wall. Equality and kindness are Bumble's core values. Whitney once said, we actively exclude mean people, both when it comes to hiring within a company and the people who use the app. And it paid off. Kindness and empathy create the emotional safety for both staff and users, which inspires people to take risks, to voice opinions, and to have fun. In fact, I have another video on why compassion is the number one secret ingredient in retaining best employees. Do check it out. Six, not settling for less. Do you know just less than four years ago, Bumble was offered 450 million to be acquired by Match Group, but the offer was turned down. Well, today the company is valued at 8 billion after IPO. I guess the rationale of the story is, if you know your worth, just wait patiently, the right opportunity will present itself at the right time, at the right place. Obviously, Whitney knows her worth. Maybe. You could also become a successful entrepreneur and be like Whitney too. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something. Please do comment below and let me know what other reasons that you think made Bumble successful. I'd love to hear from you. My name is Ting Ting. Please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out my next video on entrepreneurship or leadership. I also started a newsletter to share tips on entrepreneurship and leadership. Please do subscribe by click on the link in the description. I hope you have a lovely day and see you at the next video. Bye.